The world's cities are getting hotter. They're heating up at a very fast rate. There's a lot of concern of what is happening. How is this affecting human beings? How is this affecting the planet? Well, here's the thing. We know what can cool down the world's cities. It's actually not that difficult. Research has arrived here now. Extensive research showing that green roofs will cool down cities and at the same time save electricity. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. You might have seen some of the new buildings coming to some cities around the world and they have greenery on the top of the roof. And you think, well, that sounds, that looks like, you know, it looks nice, but imagine the kind of hassle that would be. What's the point? Well, here's the thing. Actually, it makes a huge difference. If every building in the world's major cities did this, temperatures in those cities would decrease significantly. Extensive greenery coverage on building rooftops will significantly reduce temperatures at the city scale and decrease energy costs at the same time, according to a new study. The research led by Indra Adekanova and Professor Gun Jung Yun from Kaiung He University and co-authored by University of New South Wales, Sydney Scientia Professor Matthias Santamoris found that green roofs will cool capital cities by around one degree Celsius during summer and slash energy demand associated by, with cooling by almost 8% under maximum coverage. Now, one degree Celsius doesn't sound like much, but actually, that's a lot. And decreasing energy costs by 8% is enormous. The study published in Nature Cities is the first to analyze the transformative effect of green roofs on urban scale energy consumption and climate conditions and could provide a template for modeling their potential in other cities worldwide. Previously, we have only looked at the energy impact of green roofs for singular buildings, but now this is the first study to evaluate the real climatic and energy impacts of green roofs at the city scale, says Professor Centamoris, the Anita Lawrence Chair in High Performance Architecture at University of New South Wales Arts, Design and Architecture. Our findings demonstrate the tremendous potential of green roofs to substantially decrease the peak temperature of a city and increase energy savings. And this actually reminds me of some studies that I've seen elsewhere where farmers complain about rainfall. They say when we first moved here, when we, we first began farming, um, we had a lot more rainfall. Researchers have discovered that one of the key reasons for a significant decrease in rainfall was that many of these farmers had actually cleared massive amounts of forest and trees. And what that had led to was a decrease in rainfall. Now, these farmers weren't convinced, but they were told if you replant a lot of those trees you've cut down, you'll find rainfall will increase. Well, what do you know? They did, and rainfall does increase in those areas. Now, these impacts could be felt here as well. Now, if you increase greenery on these roofs, it might also have the dual benefit of increasing rainfall. We don't know yet, but it does sound possible. The researchers who actually discovered this information, they are experts in developing heat mitigation technologies and strategies to cool cities affected by urban overheating. Seoul, South Korea is one such city where climate change and rapid urbanization, such as removing trees, impacted the magnitude of overheating issues, increasing energy consumption needs, and adversely affecting human health. Now, of course, this goes hand in hand with um, gas fumes, petrol fumes, diesel fumes from vehicles as well. One of the major problems is the built environment worldwide is severe urban overheating, said the researchers. And as our cities heat up, thermal discomfort and heat related illness and death also rise. Green roofs are a promising strategy of mitigating urban heat and energy consumption with this ability to be installed on new buildings and retrofitted. They're a scalable nature-based solution to address the challenges of urban heat. For the study, the research team ran large-scale cooling, climatic, and building energy simulations under three 
greenery coverage scenarios to evaluate, evaluate the potential of green roofs to lower the temperature and cooling needs of Seoul during the hottest summer month of the year. That's August. They specifically focused on a non-irrigated extensive green roof strategy, a type of lightweight green roof with large scale implementation potential and less maintenance costs. Now, the reality is here, guys, that it's actually a pretty simple green roof. It doesn't require trees or anything like that. But if you were to plant more significant foliage, the effects could be even more significant. The modeling found that the higher the coverage of green roof systems, the more significant the decreases in temperatures and energy demand. When 90% of the buildings were covered with green roofs, the city's air temperature and surface temperature decreased by 0.6 degrees Celsius and 2.2 degrees Celsius respectively. Meanwhile, building energy use dropped by approximately 8%. Green roofs help cool temperatures by facilitating evaporation through plant transpiration, which cools the surrounding air and reduces the need for mechanical systems, air conditioning, for example, lowering energy demand. Additionally, the layer of soil and vegetation on green roofs provides important insulation, something that many buildings don't have at all, reducing heat transfer into buildings and further lowering energy costs. Current green roof coverage in Seoul is modest, is as in there's not much of it, but it's expected to expand between 30 to 60% based on local policies in the next few decades. Now, this strategy would work in any city worldwide. If you live in a desert, doesn't mean you can't plant out these green roofs. There's no reason why not. Even, you know, some of these really hot cities in the United States, in the desert type areas, same thing with Australia, would massively benefit from this kind of strategy. And it might also create a, a secondary benefit that I mentioned earlier, more rainfall. Thanks for watching.